All right, shalom, 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 everybody. Most high Christ bless. All right. Officer Arye, it's been a long time. Long time since I've been on this. Mm -hmm. Dang. At least I've been having me working, boy. Working in captivity. All right. Welcome to another episode of Casting Down Imaginations. All right. As y'all seen it, today's topic is on black on black crime. Stop that stuff. All right, stop that foolishness. Black on black crime. All right. We will get heavy into the topic today. All right. To my left. Officer Yosa. And to my right. Officer Abia. And we're going to go to a short break, and we'll be right back. All right, so stay tuned. It, 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 it will stop. Black on Black Crown will stop. Long, Long brothers. What's up? Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. New faces, ah, but not so much in time. I just haven't been on Periscope in a while. It's working, huh? Uh, it's working. He's up cracking that whip. Hey, Sloan, all the way from London. All right, hey, Sloan, most like Christ bless. Who, who else we got on the Periscope from other uh, countries? What's up, Atlanta? Chicago? No, not Chicago. Dallas? New Orleans? New Orleans, okay. Where's he from? That's why where's he from? New Orleans. Cali, Chicago, Fort Worth, West Wisconsin. Key West. NYC in the house. Houston, VA, Cali. Okay, Chicago. Hey, listen. Oh. Uh, good information right here on this one. All right, all right, third one in the house. Trust the boss. Look at the chart. Uptown. Look at this black and white. Memphis. Israel. So they get ready for Israel. that uh Israel. Israel. Domino man. All this thing you do on Monday is from catching. The way the price that you can never really make them. See the more people want to win. Yeah, I heard about it. So I ain't seen it though, but I heard about it, about the little, uh, the woman being shot with the baby and all. And when I'm here, she was like, acting like she wanted it. Like she asked me what I'm here. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the article or anything. So like I say, you must be the man. Check the 14 verse 12 just so that you understand. I can pretty much do this for my plan. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what I mean about this girl? She's like, um, she's 
That's the question that a lot of people like to ask. You tell them, uh, do you eat pork? No, I don't eat pork. Or you Muslim? Uh, do you celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving? No. Oh, are you Muslim? But guess what? Do you take a but shower? The, but the Muslim, <laughs> Muslim. Yes. not knowing, you Muslim? <laughs> listen, the Muslims that eat shrimp, stuff like that. We don't eat none of that. We don't eat shrimp or none of that. You know, they got that from our Bible. You have some of Muslims who, who appear to be one way, meaning like they all caught up in their religion, but they still in the clubs doing the same thing that everybody else is doing. Only thing they know is what white man. They got a bunch of so-called rappers that Muslim. You see that? Yeah. 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 Alright, 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 and we're back. We are back. 
All right, to another episode of Casting Down Imagination. Today's topic is black on black crime. Stop it, all right? And it will cease, all right? Leviticus 19 and verse 17 is what we're going to start on. That's what we're going to open with, all right? Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. We got a couple of articles that Officer Albia is bringing out today, today, all right? Leviticus 19 and 17. You realize this is the this is this is the law, the law of God that we need to come back and keep. If we kept this law right here, a lot of black on black crime would stop. Read that. This is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of people be thinking that this is this neighbor that is talking about in the scripture is everybody. So let's start at verse one. Who, Leviticus. Who was Moses speaking to? Who was God speaking to? Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 1. Come on. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. No, speak unto all nations. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Of the children of Israel. You blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians. You're the Israelites, according to the Bible. Nobody else. You are the chosen people of God. So, listen up. Drop down to 17. This is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. The Bible says, God says, you're not supposed to hate your brother in your heart, meaning in your mind. You're not supposed to hate your brother. And a lot of, a, a lot of things behind black on black crime is due to hatred. Number one, because you hate yourself and you look at the other person like, oh, he's just a nigga, I'm gonna kill him. You look at, you look at your people the same way that these other nations look at us the exact same way. We're supposed to do what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Just like what we do when we go on the street corners and we teach our people. We're rebuking our neighbor. We're rebuking our people. Why? Because we love them. We're trying to show them, listen, come up out, uh, uh, young men, pull up the pants. Hell, I say young men, older men, pull up the pants. Let go of the drinking and smoke. Let, let, let go. Let go. Stop being a drunkard. Stop pouring our women out. Come back and keep God's laws. It's because we love our people. Read. Because let me, let me ask you this: If we didn't love our people, you, you think we'd be out there risking our lives day in and day out, trying to save our people, trying to pull them out of the fire that's to come? Read. In. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. I, I've been looking on this periscope since we started, and a lot of people have commented, oh, black on black crime would never stop. It would never cease. It's still going on. Yeah. Want to know why? Because our people are not keeping the commandments. If we come back and do what God say, it will stop. It will stop. But everybody want to get up in March when, when, uh, when uh, a so-called uh, another nation kills us. Mm -hmm. Everybody want, we shall overcome, marching and stepping. But what happens when you got, uh, like, the chief police in, uh, in Milwaukee? He said 90%, not, nobody's talking about the 90% of homicides and killings and and things of that nature with their own people. Nobody's talking about that. Everybody's like, oh, well, the, this cop just shot this guy. Oh, he, he's white, he's black. Oh, they, they hate us now. Oh. Listen, they've been hating you since day one. The people who do not believe in this Bible and do not come, I'm talking about the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, our people right now. That's who we're talking to, that's who we're dealing with. To those who do not believe in this Bible, and do not come back to their heritage, keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ, the Bible talk about y'all. It says two-thirds of y'all who, who don't want to stop the killing, or ain't going to never stop. You don't have to believe that. But the one-third who will, they're going to stop the killing. Right. They're going to hear this message and they're going to stop it. But the two-thirds, you're out of here. They're going to bring up every excuse. So it's going to stop. Right. We're going to get into it. All right, read it again. This is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge 
nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. No. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You're supposed to love your brother. Love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor is not everybody. Your neighbor is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. The Israelites, according to the Bible. And our, our forefathers understood that. <laughs> our forefathers understood that. As a matter of fact, let's get an example. Give me Matthew 15. I'm going to just show, show an example because a lot of people say, oh, Christ came in and died for all nations, buddy. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> Matthew 15. Let's see what Christ did with this woman that was from another nation. Sorry, we'll 21. 21. Get to the point. Uh, 21. This is Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Uh -huh. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. So this woman of another nation came to Christ and said, Have mercy on me, thou son of David. <laughs> Read. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Come on. But he answered her, not a word. His oh, wait, wait, you're reading that too fast, bro. You got to slow down, man. It says he answered her not a word. The Messiah, Christ, answered this woman. Supposedly, people say that Christ came for everybody, right? But Christ didn't answer this woman. He, he ignored her. And what, this, what did the disciples do? And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. They said, listen. What does she? What does she want? Get this lady away from us. But she crying after us. We don't. Want, we don't want to deal with this woman right now. Christ didn't. He, our, our forefathers, our forefathers understood who their brothers was. Who their brother was. Give me that in uh, Nehemiah. Let me find it real quick. Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Uh, when they was building the temple. When they was uh, rebuilding. Two. Yeah, I think I'll be there. Nehemiah and uh, bear with me. Verse Nehemiah two and start at verse seventeen. <clears throat> Nehemiah chapter two, verse seventeen. I'll show you something real quick. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter two. Verse 17. Then said I unto them, ye see the distress, ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's word that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their heads for this good work. But when Sandabalot, the Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite, and Gersh, uh, Geshem, the Arabian, heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, what is this thing that ye do? Will ye rebel against the king? So these other nations came. Oh, you, you. Look, look. These, these other nations came and started scorning us, right? We're speaking against us because we was about to do this good work, which we was about to rebuild. All right, rebuild Jerusalem. Read. Right? What are we doing today? We doing this right now today, and these people coming scorning us. Our own people laughing. We can't do this without America. We got the vote. Nah, buddy. Read. You know? Verse 20. Then said I, them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. But ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. So why did I pull this? Why did I pull this? To show that our people understood who they were. They understood who their neighbor and who their brothers were. They wasn't going to the the uh, uh, the other nations. You see what I'm saying? Right. They were. 
All right. Go back. Yeah. Wait, read that again. Verse 20. Then answered I them and said unto them, the God of heaven. So they said, uh, black on black crime is not going to stop. We trying to rebuild our nations. We going to tell our people stop murdering each other. And you telling us we doing it for nothing. They ain't going to never stop. But read what it say. The God of heaven, he will prosper us. The God of heaven, he going to prosper us. Read. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. We going to arise and build. We're going to rise and build our people. We will stop the black on black crime. The Native American on Native American. The Spanish on Hispanic. We will stop this crime that we're going through. Nobody else is helping us. We have to help ourselves. That's it on there? No. But ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. Right. So, there you go. All right, give Mike a 2-8. Micah chapter 2. You brothers with no faith, you sisters with no faith, no. I'm telling you, you better repent. Because this Bible is real. We bring out this stuff every day. Historical facts with the Bible. Keep on, keep on in your simplicity. You have to wake up. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. This is Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Read on. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Bring up the speech of the day. There's no truth, or no mercy, or no knowledge of God in the land. Ain't nobody keeping God's laws here. Even when we try to tell them about uh, the, the commandments of God's laws, they say, oh, no, don't worry about that. Well, I can't even say what the guy said on, 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 uh, on, at camp. Last week, I can't even say it on Periscope. Our people hate God's laws. Read on. Verse 2 By swearing and lying, and killing and stealing, and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Blood touches blood, meaning black on black crime. Black on black crime. And you know what? Drop down to verse 6. This is why. This is why black on black crime is going on right now. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It goes, it goes back. It goes back to understanding who you are according to the Bible. That's it. It goes back to understanding God's laws. Love thy neighbor as thyself. You got something? No. You got an article? Yes, sir. All right, Officer Abiyah is about to bring out an article. What you got? Okay. All right, I'm going to start with uh, this Black Lives Matter movement. This is what USA Today. But why Black Lives Matter doesn't focus on black on black crime. I'm going to read a little and I'm going to drop down. It says, the Black Lives Matter movement is in the national spotlight again this month following the high-profile killings of two black men by police and the killings of police officers by black men in Dallas and Baton Rouge. With the movement's attention comes a familiar refrain. Why doesn't Black Lives Matter focus on black on black crime? What, what, wouldn't that be, uh, uh, what I say, a topic of discussion? Right, wouldn't that be, when you hear Black Lives Matter, wouldn't you think that would be the primary subject? Right. So why is it when, so why is it our people get mad and wanna march when, when uh, so-called white people kill blacks? Because they void of understanding. They void of understanding. You don't have no understanding. Officer, can you give me Proverbs 11 and 12? Because you asked this question, right? The Bible have all the answers. 
It's going to, it's going to say it right here. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 12. Read. He that is void of wisdom. He that is void of wisdom, right? Don't know right from wrong. Don't know how to keep God's commandments. Read. Despiseth his neighbor. He despises his neighbor. He don't care about black lives. He only care when master do something. He, it's not really about when a, uh, that he shot the black man. It's who shot the black man. Jesus, why you hurting us? Why you killing us? Because they scared they're going to go back into a uh, slavery again or something? Huh? Read it again from the top. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor. Come on. But a man of understanding. But a man of understanding who keep the commandments, who understand right from wrong. You know what that brother did me wrong? But guess what? I'm going to forgive this brother. I'm going to forgive him. Because his life worth more than that. Read it again. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor. Come on. But a man of understanding holdeth his peace. He hold his peace. He ready to go off at the um, uh, drop of a hat. Uh, emotionally disturbed or is what they term it in the school systems. Give me that pocket for Shirai. I'm gonna show you something. Uh, 28. Shirai 28. Are you, um, I'm going to get right back to you, Avia. Surat 20, what verse, officer? Uh, start at verse, uh, yeah. start at verse 1. <clears throat> this is, uh, Surat Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 28, verse 1. He that revenged shall find vengeance from the Lord. He that find, he that, uh, read again, sorry. He that revenged, he that revenged, Right, read. Shall find vengeance from the Lord. I gotta get that brother back. No, his mama got to cry at night. They gotta wear their black dress out. She got uh uh gotta make her wear. You understand? Read. That that's why that's why that's why a lot of people <laughs> remember God, God is the one who kills, God is the one who makes it alive, right? So if you wicked and you have that that gang mentality. Say, oh, I got, I got to get this brother back. He stepped on my foot at the club. I'm about to cap him right now. I'm about to, just, I saw a video the other day where three brothers was in the car and got shot. Just like the brother who was walking to the store on a live feed on Facebook. Just like the brother who was, remember, he was walking to the store? Yeah. And no, he was standing in the middle of the, the block. You know, he went to the store, but he started standing and started live um, streaming himself. Yeah. Then the other brother, as well, standing outside his neighborhood, they came and shot him. But it's it's all for not forgiveness. Something that he done in probably was something stupid, over five dollars, two two cent. He stepped on my foot. You know, I'm talking about literally these people be dying over five dollars for nothing, for nothing. But read on. Our people so so quick to kill each other. Because they void of they void the wisdom. They void the wisdom. They don't understand God's laws. Alright? Read. He that revenge shall find vengeance from the Lord. He's gonna get paid back. Mm -hmm. Thou shall not kill. If you kill, somebody gonna kill you. Right. That's the law. Stop the killing. <laughs> it's that simple. Really? But you know what happens? A lot of people, a lot of people like to make themselves seem innocent. Oh, he was a good person. He and, and he got fifty people on his murder list. I, I, that always amazed me. That always amazed me. These brothers was college, they college, and they always show these pictures of him in like this this robe. You know what I'm saying? Like they never done nothing wrong. They shot my baby. Did listen? The Most High. Is the most uh is he don't do nothing out of spite. Every, everybody died for a reason. But nobody just uh most like his own uh 
Let me get that. I'm going to tie it in. I'm going to get it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to show you better than I'm going to tell you. And then we'll come back to him. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. It says, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. You Negroes, Hispanics, y'all are not gods. You cannot take nobody life. The spirit that you, uh, that's on you, the most high put it on you. He put you, he gave you a reprobate mind. He gave you a reprobate mind. Because you do not want to listen. So he said, you want that life? This life is going to eat you up then. All right, read. See now, that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Come on. I kill. He said, I kill. Read. I make alive. He make alive. Read. I wound, and I heal. So some, some people survive some kind of shock. He said, I wound, and he heal. Yeah, that, remember that story you told me? About uh, the guy who got shot seven times and he lived. No, was, and then, uh, Darren, I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, he got shot 13. Oh, 13. And then you said there was one guy got shot in the leg and died. Yes. Yes. Somebody said 57. <laughs> All right. Well, um, you know, got shot nine times and lived. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sirach chapter 28, verse. Two. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he had done unto thee. You see that? This is the understanding. This is the word you say. Forgive thy neighbor that the hurt he done unto thee. Forgive him. Read. So shall thy sins also be forgiven when so thou prayest. So in that day, you won't be coming to thirds. <coughs> the most high will wipe you out. He won't kill you. He will spare your life. But it says, you don't want, oh, it's going to say it. Read on. One man, verse 3, one man bearing hatred against another. One man bearing hatred against another. He holding on to that hatred. You understand? Read. He, he stepped on my shoe and I got a big scuff. Every, everywhere you go, you're just looking at him. You don't even have to step on your shoe. Stepped on my hand. Listen, I'm going to take it even farther. On black on black crime, a brother don't even have to step on your shoe. What is that nigga looking at? What are you looking at? Brother just can walk through your neighborhood. The safest people that's in the neighborhoods are the other nations. The safest people in our neighborhoods are the other nations. The so-called white man, the so-called Korean, all these people. Am I wrong, I'm here? I got the statistics on that. Oh, okay, well, yeah, yeah. Read it then. Oh, hold on, but before you do that, that's, that's real life. Okay, so we on a fly mission, right? It's getting dark time. Y'all know, uh, and on the, on the east side, Negroes is crazy. It's getting dark. We just see two, two Edomites just scrolling, just walking down the street. Hey, <laughs> you know, in, in that neighborhood, you would at least think that they would be like, oh, all right, we, we need to hear we get up out of here. But we like that. They just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> just no worries. Just walk, and look, just walk past us. They didn't even look at us, just doo -doo 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 -doo. like, we don't see y'all. But like, you, you, you know where you at right now? <laughs> they know they safe. That's like Esau going to the St. Bernard Project. By himself. He can go. Esau is safe in our neighborhood. We ain't safe in our own neighborhood. Right. But go to their neighborhoods. Y'all brothers, man. We ain't safe in their neighborhoods. We ain't safe in our neighborhoods. You ain't, we, you, ain't safe, we you ain't safe in your house. I just seen I just seen some uh, uh, a video the other day of a I think he was uh what did he say? He was seventy two or sixty. From sixty to uh from sixty to about seventy. He was getting out of his car. He was getting out of his car with his keys in his hand and they, the police, the neighbors, the neighbors called and said, oh, this man, he, he stole his car. This is his car registered in his name, in his garage, by his house. The police pulled up and, and shot him uh, 13 times. 
He lived, but they shot him 13 times. And during the process of shooting him, he's like, why are you shooting me? This, this is my house. He ain't got nothing in, the, in, his, uh, in, in his hands but his keys. And you shoot the man. And you know what the, you know what the police say? He was a, a, a suspect. That's always the same. He was a suspect until until we we could get to him. But you but y'all gonna realize this is all done by the most high. Right. It's just like the same thing when a man had his hands up and they shot him and he was like, Why did you shoot me? He was like, I don't know. Don't know the spirit of the most high came on that man. Evil spirit from the most high came on that man, right? And killed him. I mean and shot him. All right, finish reading that. And we're going to get the scripture on that. That the most high do sin, he was spirit is only. Sirach, chapter 28, verse 3. One man bearing hatred against another. And don't he seek pardon from the Lord? He going to seek pardon from the Lord? Because as soon as, soon as the bullets start popping off, what they do? God, Lord, Jesus, help me. Proverbs 1. When your destruction comes as a whirlwind, yeah. that's when you want to turn to God. That's why he said, in your affliction, you should seek me early. Right. Because when you get shot one time, you're like, oh, oh, Jesus, please don't let me die. God, now he, you, you're an atheist, but you come flag, full flesh uh, 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 believing in God now. The reason why they do that is because these pastors in these fake churches lies to you. The Most High is not hearing you in your sin. That's why we have a hundred churches in one neighborhood you have nothing but crime. Because they don't push God's commandments. They push, uh, uh, what they push? Uh, God loves everybody. Uh, they push prosperity. Prosperity. Oh, I haven't been in a church in a long time, so I don't, I don't listen to that crap. They push, you know, so they push, uh, they push. They push. I know they push lies. Yeah. They don't push this Bible. Give you a 49 cents and you get this napkin that's going to heal you. That's <laughs> But, uh, for example, to, to, to say what the officer, just to prove what the officer just said about the churches on every corner. Officer Abia, where are you from? North Carolina. No, no, no. In Oklahoma, where are you from? You're from Duncan, right? Well, I lived in Duncan, yeah. How many churches are in Duncan? 147 churches. You know how small Duncan is? Duncan is small. And there's 147 churches. It's like 30,000 people that live there. Is 147 churches. That's like 30 people in each church. <laughs> Less than 30 people in each church. Yeah. That's crazy. And guess what? <laughs> Stevens County, Oklahoma, a.k.a. Duncan, Oklahoma, is the number one leader in methamphetamine use in the world. Not just the United States. Damn. In the world. And their high school is called the Duncan Demons with 147 churches. <laughs> what? <laughs> what <is he> there? <laughs> Damn. Sirach 28 and verse 3. I don't know why I'm stuck on verse 3. But I just gotta keep reading. Read it. One man buried hatred against another. They're stuck on the hatred. That's why. Read. One man buried hatred against another, and doth he seek pardon from the Lord? Read. And he showeth no mercy to a man. He don't show no mercy to a man. Read. Which is like himself. Which is like himself, his own brother. Person that looks just like him. But he'll show mercy to the so the so called white man, that damn devil. He'll show mercy to him. But he won't show mercy to his own brother. Right, show mercy to all these all these nations. I, bro, ooh, read on. Verse 4. He showed no mercy to a man which is like himself. And don't he ask forgiveness of his own sins? You gonna ask forgiveness for your own sins? Read. If he that is but flesh nourish hatred, who will entreat for pardon of his sins? Christ is going to entreat for you. He ain't going to entreat for you. Right. You want to know why? No. Because Christ said to forgive. And if you, if you don't, that means you ain't listen to what, what Christ told you to do, right? Forgive your neighbor. <laughs> and let's just say a Christian church, let's just go with that, right? Let's just go with what they say, right? Forgive. Well, why you only forgive the so-called white man? Why you only forgive the so-called Asian man? Why you don't forgive your own people? 
If that's the case, you believe in forgive. That's because it's a lie. Read on. Right. All right. Uh, <clears throat> verse 6. Remember thy end and let enmity cease. He said, remember thy end and let enmity cease. Let the hatred stop. That's what the name of the class is uh, today, right? Black or black crime. Stop it. Let the hate. God yeah, said. Go. You think he came up with himself? God said. Read that again. It says, remember thy end. Remember thy end. Remember you got to die. <laughs> remember you have to answer to what you've done. You have to answer for that. Read. And let enmity cease. Let the hatred stop. That's what enmity means. Let the hatred stop. Read. Remember corruption and death. Come on. And abide in the commandments. And abide in the commandments. Do what God say do. Stop the murder. Stop the uh, killing each other. Right. That's, that's when you, uh, in verse 5, when it says, If he that is but flesh nor is hatred, who will entreat for pardon of his sins? So, if you ain't doing what God asks you to do, you think Christ gonna step in? They say, oh, no, 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 he, I know him. No, he gonna say, depart from me, you workers of the week. <laughs> them, them words I do not wanna hear, depart from me, Father. That's the most scary word I ever wanna hear. Uh, keep reading. Uh, verse 7. Remember the commandments. Remember the commandments. Remember the commandments. Read. And bear no malice to thy neighbor. There you go. And bear, it, bear no malice to your neighbor, meaning your brother. If you just keep what God said do, we will prosper. We will live. But God said, since you forgot me, I'm going to forget your children. And who tearing up the neighborhoods? Your kids. Because you will not listen to God. You will not do what he say do. You will not do it. Uh, all of a sudden, you have something? Uh, hold on for a second. What's, what's the number to call it? 405-293-2029. All right, so make sure you call them. We're going to take a quick break. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Remember, call in. What's the number again? 405-293-2029. Call in. All right, call in after the break. Stop dwelling on, you know, 
the cops and everything killing our people. We gotta be focused on, we gotta be focused on uh, uh, keeping God's commandments. All right? It's trying to stop black on black crime in our communities and in our neighborhoods. Cause it's gonna start with us. I'm, I'm trying to find the right words to say. You know why? You know why it's so easy for the other nations to kill our people? It's because we look at each other. We look at each other in a way where we don't care about each other. We have no respect. We have no respect for ourselves. We have no respect for our nation. It's like a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like a whorish woman. Who respect a whorish woman? Right. Who respect her? Nobody respect a whorish woman. He ain't gonna marry her. I'm gonna get what I get out of her. I'm gone. The next man gonna do the same. Nobody respects her. So you expect, you know, you just like that. One. You you respect respect from somebody? No, they're not gonna respect you. You respect you throw trash on your net on your own lawn. What our people fail to realize is the number one tactic that the so-called white man used as far as police officers that get off by killing us is that I fear for my life. Why did you fear for your life? Don't you know that these niggas kill each other like like they eat Skittles? You're right. You're justified. You see what I'm saying? Oh my God, man. These statistics is crazy. All I can say is that. We're going to come back with the statistics after the break, man. God. I'm show y'all. I didn't even know this. Officer, look at this. This is the race of the offender. This is the victim. Black. 13%. On white people. 62% on black people. 13% on white people. 62% on black people. Watch this. 21% on Hispanics. 21% on Hispanics. So if you add those two together, that's 83% black on black crime. The white man is the safest person around a black person. All praises, all praises. That, that's the mission. That's the mission. To get everybody to repent. All right? And keep God's commandments. That's watch our whole that. duty. That's the whole mission. Watch this. All right? This other, the other all is... All praises for that. You say your whole household came uh, to the knowledge and repentance. All Indian, praises for that. The last Native Asian Hawaiian but, Pacific Like Deacon Islander, I thought brought out last else, right? We got to change the... We got to... Black folks kill more than white uh, folks. Change the way that we think. All right? Everybody... Is it? All right. White people is 13%. Other nations are 19 Nah, this ain't no Q-Side 5. <laughs> no, crime, black folks commit crime for a race. Oh, damn! 13 percent. No. Oh, oh, that's even worse, bro. Why you doing that? Let me let me read this real quick. No, no, so in the 1800s, in the 1800s, in the 1800s, women. In the 1800s, women, black women. Black, okay, I'm, try, I'm trying to word it. What? I'm trying to word it the right way. In the 1800s, black women used to style and wear their hairs, right? You know, the black power movement and stuff like that. Well, these are the nations. These are the nations. They didn't like that. They hated this. I need to find that article. They spoke on that. Because what happened was it was getting the attraction of, of the, the so-called white man, whatever the case may be, all right? And so the, the Edomite women hated it. They hated it. And they forced, they, they basically, Basically, forced the mindset where to, talk to make our women look like uh, self hatred. The way our mindset is. Right, right, right. So they basically turned the mindset over. That's why when you look at when you look at uh, when you look at how about uh, I was trying to okay when you look at the way that our people. Uh, uh, Deal with each other is through hatred. Look at like you look you look up yeah. simple stuff like uh, fashion. What'll come up? Fashion with a uh, long blind stringy hair. And you look up black woman fashion. What do you what, what do you see? Black women with blonde hair. 
or you can look up the most uh, beautiful women. So-called black women, you ain't up there. So you look up at yourself, so you want to be like them. And not knowing that you're being lied to. God. It's like a song. It's like a song that you when it came out. That song's stupid, but they keep playing it over and over and over. And then you start doing this, like that, like this. You know what I'm saying? This Timmy Timmy Turner thing. <laughs> yeah, you know. You start liking it. You start you start bobbing your head to it. That, listen, you are beautiful, okay? But you've been lied to. He said, "Check this out. This is Wisdom of Solomon, thirteen to three. It says, with whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. <laughs> let them know how much better. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty had created them. The first author of beauty, God chose us. God chose us. Let that marinate. Let that sink in. All right. It's time to come about these lies. Black men, black women, Hispanic women. All right, men, Native Indian men and women. Listen, you are the greatest thing on the face of the earth. It makes no sense to kill one one another. Did that brother step on your foot and leave a scuff? Listen, well, forgive him and keep it pushing. Forgive him because it's like I like I tell people here. It ain't nothing that we can't fix, man. Because that ending goal, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. That ending goal is the kingdom. We want the kingdom of God. So you gonna you gonna let that's rulership, right? You gonna that's let rulership. You gonna let because a brother stepped on your toe. You gonna let that withhold withhold you from the kingdom. That brother, he bumped it oh, to he me. He stole something from you. He, he bumped it to me very hard. I he stole. From show to her. He shot you. Yes, even though he shot you, forgive him. Because I see, I see a lot of times. I grew up in um, New Orleans Seven Wall. I've been around mm, a few shootings, all right? And one of my partners got shot by the police, right? Listen, he began that police real quick. He ain't go back and shot that police. He was shot. No, bro, this is hurtful. That was real. Oh, Abortion man. is an even a crime, but it, it's black and black crime. Several you years understand ago, what I'm 17, saying? Seventeen thousand aborted babies were found in a dumpster outside of the pathology laboratory in Los Angeles. Watch this stuff. Look at that. AIDS, violent crime, accidents, cancer, heart abortion. Hey, we got we got something coming for y'all, man. That's why I had to stop when I seen that. Yeah. I seen it. it shut me, bro. When I saw that just now, I was, I lost my train of thought. Y'all not gonna believe. After this break, we bring out, man. What, what type of business are you talking about, man? Hopefully you ain't talking about putting the biscuits on them or nothing like that. Little piece of all men. No, we know we Israelites. We don't think we are. We know we are. Oh, I was gonna get this. Deuteronomy 28. Don't say Beyonce. Not you. That's not Beyonce. He, he just went too far. Black work kid, we cutting Christians. Black work kid, we cutting Christians. That's Israelite music. All right. Take this out. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. The scripture says, I'm going to tell you, but the scripture says, uh, the scripture says, what does it say? Be, live peaceably with all men. All right? So if you can avoid a situation where you're about to, to fight, about to fight somebody, all right? 
Push, man. What's the point? Okay. The point. Especially the other nations. You know, even at my job, a lot of people want to like, like they can come in the first day and they 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 think that they know a lot, but they really don't. You see what I'm saying? So they would. I'm, damn. We actually on a break right now, you know what I'm saying? So it's music time. Okay, so we're gonna turn the music down. We cut Christians. We cut Christians. We're on a break right now. We cut Christians. Like we're kids, we cut Christians. I lost my train of thought. John 14, man, you can't see this. Yeah, right. we, we, got, we got so much. I gotta stop losing my train of thought. So I was talking about the brother fighting, right? Right. Yeah. Avoid it. You gotta like this is what I do. I understand the latter end for this. I understand what the Most High is gonna do. What Christ is gonna do? Can't interrupt our head. <laughs> so I said, can't interrupt. Our head. I understand what the latter is going to be for them, and I, I just, just dismiss them. I don't have to. I don't. I don't have to, to fight anything. But. Itself above the knowledge of God, all right? So now, we're talking about black on black crime. So, we're gonna get to the, the, the statistics. I gotta say that right, dude. So <laughs> I remember to call in. The number is what? 405 293 2029. 2029. All right? Yeah, that's very easy. Uh, the stats, all right? All right, thank you, brother. Yeah, stats. I like that. On the stats. 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 <laughs> All right. What you got, officer? Okay. We're going to go over uh, a table of, uh, <laughs> it's a comparison table I have right here. As far as crimes per race, as far as offender and victim. With the black man as the offender against white people, it is 13.7%. So a black man that victimizes a white man is 13.7%. A black man victimizing another black man is 62.2%. A black man that is victimizing a Hispanic man. Stop, stop, stop. Go back. Start with the victimizing of black and white. The black man that victimizes a white man is 13.7%. Wow. Hmm. This is out of 100%, by the way. The black man that victimizes another black man is 62.2%. Over half. You forgetting that Hispanics are a brother. Watch this. Blacks that victimize Hispanics, 21.2%. So if you tie those two numbers together, that's 83.4% black on black crime. As the black man being the offender and the black man being the uh the victim and the offender. That's just one. 
Let me uh, read this. Let me uh, go down a little bit. Oh, I got another article. That's all I wanted out of that one. We're going to do Chicago now. Oh, man. We're going to do Chicago. We're going to get real specific. 75% of murder... 75% of murder are black. 71% of murderers are black. This is the time, this is the table. I can read, I can read the article all day long. But this is this is the comparison chart. Victims by age. The largest age group is 17 to 25 which is 196 victims, which is 45.5% of the deaths in Chicago. This is the victims by race. Count 326 black men. That's 75.3%. Hispanics is 82. That's the count. The percentage is 18.9%. White count is 20 people. <laughs> 4.6% in five or others. 1.2%. He said 326. 75.3% of black on black crime. Plus, 82 is a count with Hispanics at 18.9%. So if you add that together, that is 93%. It's almost 100. 93% is black on black crime. So, what do you think that the Black Black Lives Matter should be pushing? Black on stop stopping black on black crime. Well, do you know who, well, you know who Black Lives Matter was created by? Okay, I'll just tell I'm, him. I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna let you think about it. Now, you understand that abortion isn't even counted as a crime, but they have statistics on it. We talk about black on black crime all the time. And I'm going to tell you, by the most high, it is a crime. I just want to put that in out there for you. This is a chart. I'm going to read this whole article. This is from... I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back and... Because a lot of people are like, wait, what is he, what is he talking about? Black, on, Black Lives Matter. Who created it? It's funded by a so-called Edomite. Right. I'm going to let that marry him. That has a godlike complex out of his own mouth. He thinks that he's a savior, a messiah type B. Out of his own mouth. Cheap wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt if you want to. And do you know what's, what's, what's crazy? Our people, our people need to realize who they are according to the Bible. We need to realize who you are according to the Bible because when you... What it, why is it that the, the head guy... I wouldn't say head guy. What would I say? The uh, spokesperson okay. of Black Lives Matter is a so-called black person. The spokesperson... Of all lives matters is what? It's a so-called black man. Mm. I'm gonna let that marinate. <laughs> that only makes sense. We got a phone call. Call him. What's your name and where are you from? Yes, um, I call you guys all the time. I'm Sierra from Minnesota. How you doing, sis? What's going on, sis? Uh, I'm okay. Um, I, I just want to let you know you guys are still doing a wonderful job, and you know that I was listening to those statistics. And um, I just I live in Minnesota, but I'm from Illinois. I'm from Chicago. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and you know what? I just think that those uh, stats that you guys are reading or that they always report are suspect. You know, because I don't think that we're killing each other at that high a rate. I mean, I'm thinking that, you know, and this is just my opinion, you know, just a moment of keeping the commandments, I'm really not supposed to be saying a whole lot, but, you know, it's just suspect that, you know, that we're killing each other at that high of a rate, and the people that I know in Illinois have not said anything about that. Sis, I know it's hard to believe, but we are killing each other at that high of a rate in Chicago. Seriously, like every. I mean, I don't understand. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, sis. What was you gonna say? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, because I looked up like three or four statistics on three or four different, uh, uh, I guess what you call uh, websites, and all of the the same statistics are accurate. 
You know, but you gotta say that blacks and Hispanics are the same people. So when I group the two together, it's blacks and Hispanics, not just African Americans, the so-called African Americans or Judah. It's all of us grouped into one, and that it gets that high. It will become 90% we group Hispanics and the blacks together. With the blacks by themselves, it's 75%. When you add the Hispanics, it goes into 90%. It goes into the 90% right. tab. You know, I understand that you guys are, you know, I mean, I understand that the stats are being put together for, you know, all of our brothers and sisters, or sisters that are being killed there. Um, but, um, you know, I don't believe we're the ones killing each other like that. I think that, the, you know, there's some, there's some, there's suspect, okay? Some things going on at night, you know. I just, I really don't, I really don't trust Esau at all. You know, not too much. And uh, that's all I really got to say today. I mean, you know, okay. just, you know, I guess we have to do more research, but I just don't believe that we're killing each other at that high of a rate in Chicago. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's unbelievable for me. So anyway, keep up the good work, you guys, and thank you for being my brothers in Christ. Shalom, It's hard to believe. It is. It is. It's hard to believe, but listen, that's what's happening. Look, I grew up in the neighborhood. I grew up. That's what I saw. That's what I saw every day. Somebody was getting their head cracked, and I saw this growing up. This is. That's what happens. Now let's bring the elephant in the room. We read. Black men shooting black men, stabbing black men, taking a black man's life who's already living. Let's talk about the babies. Let's talk about the, the abortion that doesn't get counted as crime in America, but is a, 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 a heinous crime when you're dealing with God. That is a sin. Let me read the top of this. This is from the blackgenocide.org. It said, several years ago, when 17,000 aborted babies were found in a dumpster Outside of the pathology laboratory in Los Angeles, California, some 12 to 15,000 were observed to be black. 17,000, 12 to 15,000 were black. This is the approximate number of African American deaths since 1973. 245,000 died of AIDS. Violent crimes was 354,000. Accidents was 44, 444, excuse me, 447,000. So people died in like car accidents and other accidents like manner. Cancer killed 2.5 million of us. Heart disease, 2.7 million. Abortion, 15.5 million blacks have been aborted since 1973. Over. over, I'm sorry, over 15.5 million. In the span of, my mother is 51. She was born in 1965. 1973, you would be 43 years old. In 43 years, over 15.5 million black children have never seen the day. Never seen a day on earth. Believe in us, sis? <laughs> Let me read. It says, my no, no. Now, we bringing this stuff out to make it prevalent because our people out here, all oh, black lives matter. All lives matter. You, you see what I'm saying? We, we gotta, we gotta. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Do they see what the clinics are? I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Okay. I'm gonna get that. Because they, they would say all lives matter, right? Like, officers say, all right, read that. Go ahead. Minority women constitute only about 13% of the one female population, age 15 to 44 in the United States. But they underwent approximately 36% of the abortions. According to the Allen uh, Guttmacher Institute, Black women are more than five times as likely as white women to have an abortion. On average, 1,876 black babies are aborted 
every day in the United States. Almost 2,000 children are killed every day. But the, the same sister getting up talking about Black Lives Matter, they probably aborted three babies. And I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand. I've Boy seen of it. wisdom. I've seen Boy it in a, in, the, in, the, in, a, in, a, in a middle school setting where I walk into the office and they got Planned Parenthood papers on the, on the, on the table, on the desk. Because they, cause they have like a little cubby hole or whatever that you put, you, you know, why use late doctor notes and stuff. And I walk in, the first first thing I see, Planned Parenthood. What the, did they ask somebody, uh, when our sisters were pregnant, they asked, uh, do they want her, you know about the RBI? Mm -hmm. They asked them when she went to find out if she was pregnant or not. They asked them, you my know? wife is the oh, yeah, your pregnant. wife? It's my wife. Okay. My wife needed documentation to prove that she was pregnant so she could get on the insurance for pregnant women. So she had to go to the east side, which is the black side of town, to the Planned Parenthood building. The first thing they did was, you know, show proof or make sure she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. The next question out of the woman's mouth, are you looking to keep it or kill it? You know why? Keep it or kill it, she said that? Or yes. She didn't say abortion. Basically, do you want to continue with this pregnancy or not? That means keep it or kill it. Do you want to continue with this pregnancy or not? The very next question after they show that she was pregnant. So many of our people do it, it don't even offend them. Yeah, that's why I'm about to see. It, it, So many of our people do it. Did you say also? You want to be a baby killer or not? <laughs> <laughs> and the nurse was a white woman, of course. But this is Planned Parenthood. I'm going to get it. Planned Parenthood. Wait, wait, wait. Think about it. Your mind was it? Well, I can't even say that because a lot of our people's minds are jacked up. But psychologically, when you ask somebody if they want to kill a, a, a baby, that would that would that would make you cringe, right? That would make you like like I wouldn't even be I wouldn't be comfortable asking that question. Do you want to continue uh, discontinue with the uh, pregnancy? What? I was in there when I asked another person. I'm like, <laughs> my wife said it was probably like six people in there. It was a white woman, a white girl, and her mama, and everybody else was black. For abortion. In the whole building. In the building. Wait. Just count, not even the people that's in the back already being killing them, but the ones waiting. You have to be a sick individual to sit and wait to kill your baby. I don't care what happened, but this is Planned Parenthood according to blackgenocide.org. Planned, Par Planned Parenthood is the largest abortion provider in America. 78% mm. of their clinics are in minority communities. How many? 78%. So you will be targeted. Hey, officer. This is the crazy thing is, it is so dumb. You, can, you can go to the uh, abortion clinic, kill a baby, and it won't register in your mind that you just killed somebody. Right. But if someone gets shot in the streets, but Black Lives Matter. He was a good person. He was a good person, but you have to, you killing babies. That don't make no sense, but killing baby, you don't comprehend it in your mind that you just killed somebody. You put a hit out on a baby. Right. Think you put a hit out on a baby. Think about it. You got the liquor store, gun store, the abortion clinic. The abortion clinic. Look at so, uh, gun shop, abortion clinic. That's in our neighborhoods. And the name itself, Planned Parenthood, is a slap in the face. The Most High God allowed you to get pregnant. That's a planned, that's planned to me. You wouldn't get pregnant if he didn't make you pregnant. <laughs> What's wrong with these people, man? You know what I'm saying? He said, I kill, I make a lot. Well, if you have a baby in your womb, hello, obviously you had to do something, sister, brother, to get the baby there. But you're going to be like, I'm not ready for no children. Then why are you having sex? Right, why now? Why are you, you ready for no kid? Stop opening your legs. I got to finish this. Like you say, uh, void, of un void of wisdom. You don't finish I'm going to read it again. Planned Parenthood is the largest abortion provider in America. 
78% of their clinics are in minority communities. Blacks make up 12 of the population, but 35% of the abortions in America. Are we being targeted? Isn't that genocide? We are the only minority in America that is on the decline in population. If the current trend continues by 2038, the black vote will be insignificant. It already is, but, <laughs> but let me read. Did you know that the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, who Hillary Bush basically, I mean Hillary, uh, Hillary Clinton basically adores, uh, love. Uh, admires, loves, was a devout racist who created the Negro Project designed to sterilize unknowing black women and others she deemed as undesirables of society. The founder of Planned Parenthood said, colored people are like human weeds and are to be exterminated. Is her vision being fulfilled today? So out of 100 clinics, 78 of them are gonna be in a black or Hispanic community. It's even been reported that in Planned Parenthood, Buildings, a white person has to pay for an abortion. A black person gets one for free. <coughs> Think about that one. I'm done. We gotta um, go back to that description. Finish that off. Read that. You about to read something else? Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I could. I got, I got a lot. I got a lot. Okay. From 1990 to 2011, it was 4.4 million babies aborted, which is 11% of the U.S. population and figured that likely will not get much attention this February during Black History Month. This was published in February. Oh, look, watch this. Since 1990, to 2011, an average of 200,000 babies are born in a year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't read no more of this. I'm, I'm done with this. Right. I'll get done, I'm done with this. All right, let's go back to Sirach uh, in the age. Finish off with something you were saying before the break. You know, you were talking about how our people on this petty stuff go like stepping on the shoe. My brother looked at me wrong. You know what I'm saying? He bumped into me. You know, he looking at my girl. He was talking to my girl. A little petty stuff. You understand? Uh, read verse 7 again. This is Sirach chapter 28, verse 7. Sirach chapter 28, verse 7. Remember the commandments and bear no malice to thy neighbor. Remember. Don't bear, don't bear no malice. There go no hatred. Don't bear it. Let it go. Read. Remember the covenant of the highest. Remember the covenant. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not, you know what I'm saying? Remember this stuff. Read. And wink at ignorance. There you go. Wink at the ignorance, like you were saying. It's ignorant to kill a brother over he stepped on your shoe. It's ignorant to kill a baby that you helped create. Wow. That is. We could talk about shooting each other all day long, but until we stop going to a clinic, opening our legs out to get a child vacuumed out of our body, what a, how can we say black lives matter? Because obviously killing each other is terrible. But most of the time it's due to the actions that we create. We want a gang bang. We want a drug sale. Therefore, judgment has to come forth. But you vacuuming a baby out of your body. Like, did he gang bang? Did he sell drugs? What did he do? It would have been a white man. I'm telling you, if a woman, if a black woman got pregnant by a white man, I guarantee that baby will see the light of day. I guarantee it. 
Because he got that good herd. He got that good herd. He going to come out light-skinned. Give me 1 John. 1 John chapter 2, verse 10. Because what we got to understand, we got to understand, now I keep saying, who we are according to the Bible. You need that. 1 John chapter 2, verse 10. Verse 10. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 10. He that loveth his brother. How do you love your brother? You keep the, you, you follow what Christ said. You follow what the Most High said. You love your neighbor as yourself. Read. Abideth in the light. You see that? But drop down to, now go to, uh, what is it? 4, 4 and 20. This is First John chapter 4, verse 20. No, 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 14. First John chapter 4, verse 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior I'm of sorry, the world. I'm sorry, verse 11. This is 1 John chapter 4, verse 11. <laughs> Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought... Where you at? Uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 11. Two. Oh, 2 and 11. Start at verse 2, 10 again. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 10. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he go, goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. What's the word where it says uh, hate? Mm. No, okay. 1 John 3 and 15. 1 John chapter 3 verse 15. 1 John chapter 3 verse 15. Whosoever, abo uh, excuse me, whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. You deem the murderer if you just hate your brother. Bearing hatred against your brother, the Bible says you're deemed a murderer. Three. And he know, and ye, and ye know, that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Meaning you ain't getting the kingdom if you hate your brother. You ain't gonna be ruling nothing. Nothing. Okay, I, got, I continue to tell you. You hate your brother. We, we're gonna be ruling over the other nations, right? For right. The right. Okay. You, you think you're gonna hate your brother and, and, and still get the kingdom? How, how you gonna... I'm trying to explain it right, so you know, explain. It, so I won't say the wrong word. Mm -hmm. You bear hatred against your brother and still trying to rule over the other nation. Does that make sense? Not, that, not that at all. Retardation. Right. That's level ten retard. That's full retard. You can't even get along with your brother, but you think you're gonna be ruling over nations? Come on now, really? <laughs> they come to get you in war. Y'all fighting each other. I can take them all by myself. I don't need your help. Scoot over, man. We, we ain't supposed to be so tight. Scoot over. And we about to go to war. And you mad at your brother because he ain't scoot over. <laughs> don't listen. Don't get it twisted. Because a lot of people, uh, when we first came on, I was seeing uh, the comments of uh, people saying, uh, they were saying, like, uh, oh, fix that. You can't change, right? Give me Titus chapter 3, verse 3. You forgot where we come from. <laughs> Titus. You forgot where we come from. Titus chapter 3. I'm a product of it. So yes, it can stop. This is Titus chapter 3, I verse 3. I hated my brother. Read that. For we... Ourselves also were sometimes foolish. I was foolish. I would have the same mindset. Hate my brother. I wish a nigga would. That's the type of mind. I, I walk out the house like that. I wish a nigga would. That's how I walked out the house. Ready. And I only, only, only that was in my head was the person who looked like me. I wasn't even thinking about the other nations. Read it again. 
For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. I was foolish. Read. Disobedient. Disobedient. Deceived. And deceived. That's what you don't know. You deceived. I was deceived. Read. Oh. A lot of people say, what are you deceived from? What you deceived from? I didn't know who my enemy was. <laughs> I didn't know who my enemy was. Read. Serving diverse lusts and pleasures. Serving diverse lusts and pleasures. I was hustling, mistreating women. Read. Living in malice and envy. Living in malice and envy. Hatred, that would have got more than me. This called the better than mine. I don't like that shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> but read on. Hateful. And hating one another. Hateful. I was hateful. I was a hateful brother. Read. But after the kindness, after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior toward man appeared. You see that? Once, once I realized, once I heard these scriptures come out the right way, I found out the truth. I found out, hold on. I'm an Israelite. I'm not supposed to hate my brother. I'm supposed to keep the commandments. I stop. Just like I stop, you can. So we ain't here trying to tear you down. We trying to tell you to stop the murdering and come back to God so we can rule this world. You put us in anything, we're going to rule it. But we got to be in our right mind. The Most High said we got to be in our right mind. We can't rule the world with rapists and murderers and gang bangers. And you know how it got out of hand, officer? That whole stop snitching movement, not telling on your neighbor for... Why would you not tell on somebody that just murdered somebody? You know he murdered somebody. You gonna give him an opportunity to keep murdering people? Wow. Give me Leviticus 5.1, because isn't that the law on that? Yes. Get Leviticus 5.1. It's our fault. We all played a part in our communities getting this bad. Officer, they even had a uh, they had a march. These rappers got over stop snitching. They went against this law. They would did it in Philly, they did it in New York. You got drug dealers selling dope to somebody's mother. Yeah, in New Orleans. You, they know that this, this woman has young children and she's selling and doing whatever she need to do to get dope. And you allow it to happen. So this child grow up motherless, fatherless. Now he on the street. Now she on the street. Now she, you see the cycle? If you would have told that hustler, get off the street or I'm going to put you in jail. What? Come on, man. Give me that. Leviticus 5. We need to be so we need to stop being so stupid. Because let a white man be in his community hustling, selling dope in the front of his house. Or another nation be in their communities. That look, a white man gonna call the police on a white man. Because they ain't trying to destroy their community where they live in and their kids will uh live in. They got enough sense to know that. Watch this. You a hundred percent right. I seen it. They had a guy, I forgot what this guy was. I don't know this guy's name. He was an Edomite, a so-called white man, right? They was having sex. There was prostitutes coming into his neighborhood. So you know what he did? He got a video camera and started videotaping them. He even stopped the police. The police was doing it. The police was doing it. He went to the video. He went got a video camera and he, and brother, he stopped the, uh, the, pro the prostitution in his neighborhood. He stopped the prostitution in his neighborhood. You know why he did it? Because he understood the long-lasting effects of that. Right. And if I do it, I'm a cool. But the drug dealer ain't a cool. Right, and he's killing his people. He ain't the cool, but yeah. I'm the cool because I want him not to destroy my family. I don't want him to get in a shootout and shoot my daughter. But I'm the cool. Read that, bro. Read that, please. Leviticus chapter 5, verse 1. And if a soul sinned and had the voice of swearing, and is a witness, whether he had seen or known of it, if and he do not utter it, a sin is death, like putting somebody to death. A sin is selling dope to your brothers and sisters. A sin is prostituting your daughters to be turn them into whores. 
Those are all sins. If you know about this and you witness this, read on. If he had seen or known of it, come on. If he do not utter it, if you don't say something, read. Then he shall bear his iniquity. You shall bear that man that's doing it iniquity. Let me give you an example. A brother on the corner selling crack. He been selling crack for six months. People six hooked, years. Six years. Somebody's mother is hooked on crack. That child grows up to be an animal, a monster. He hates everybody. He comes into your house, robs you, and puts you to death. You just bear that man's iniquity. Hold on, let me say this. Hold on. Me, but watch this. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to say this. This is this. I'm a, uh, he get into an argument, or he get into a brother owe him money, right? You know you got kids. Your kids outside playing in the yard, right? You didn't call. You didn't say anything. You kept your mouth shut. So he get into the gun shootout and she kill your daughter. You bury his iniquity. And you go cry. Man, what happened, man? Why did we gotta stop this? Why don't you stop it when you seen it? Oh, I don't wanna put my brother in jail. Some of us need to go to jail. Some of us do. Cause they're animals. Because guess what? The number one thing that a black man does when he goes to jail is look for who? God. And some of them need to go to jail to look for God because them being out here is a detriment to our society. I'm done. Give me 1 Corinthians 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Because like all the CIOs I brought out, we're not, we're, not, we're not here to tear our people down. We're not here to, 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 to make our people feel less than nothing. But we're here to give you the truth. This is something that the Christian church ain't going to do. They ain't going to sit here and give you stats and facts and statistics on real life situations. Yes, it's hard to, it's hard to fathom. Oh, well, no, we ain't killing people like that. No, our black, black Hispanics and Native Indians are killing each other left and right with no hesitation. Later, make right. Like you said, of a soldier gag that came from New York from the reservation here said that his people were in war. Like, we call it gang They call it war. They call it war. Tribe. Yeah. Killing one another. Two different Indian tribes killing one another nonstop. So it ain't just us and Hispanics. It's Native Americans too. That's right. And that's what people kind of realize. First Corinthians 6 and 9. nine. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. So like you read in, uh, what was that, Titus? A lot of people say, oh, can it stop? It won't stop. No, it will stop. Because remember, Christ is coming back. <laughs> Christ is making that, that, that return. And if you're still doing the same nonsense that you you doing, you hating your brother, you ain't getting no kingdom. Right? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous shall not. Those who break God's commandments are not getting the kingdom. Read. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. Neither fornicators. Don't be deceived by your, your uh, uh, Christian theologians. Your uh, Cruffalo Dollars. Your T.D. Jakes. Fancy names. Right. Uh, Cruffalo Dollar. Cruffalo take everybody dollar. T.D. Snakes. Don't, don't be... Don't, don't be deceived, read. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, Come on. nor thieves, nor covetous. So if you're that brother that's still from your brother, or whatever the case may be, or you're stealing in general, read. Nor, nor drunkards. Nor covetous. You, you want what everybody got. You hating people because they you ain't got what they what uh, uh you don't have what they have. Read. Nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. You're not going to get eternal life. It's that simple. You're not getting the kingdom of God, but read on. And such were some of you. What? He said, and such were some of you. Meaning these people that he was talking to did these certain things. They were breaking God's commandments. They were uh, dealing in, in the righteous acts. Read. And ye are washed, but ye are sanctified. In, yeah, in unrighteous acts. Read. And ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, 
but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Meaning now you are washed, man. Now you keep in God's commandments. You washed by the word, Ephesians 5 and 26. All right, you got something? Yeah, give me, uh, I'm going back, put it back on for also, uh, over here said uh, about how we uh, <clears throat> give me uh, Ezekiel 3 and start at verse 4 how the other nations how they do things we should be doing you know cleaning up their community you know because some of the stuff that come out of this Bible they'll do it Faster than we would. I'm going to prove God saved it. Watch. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. No, uh, uh, 4. Verse 4. Oh, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go and get thee, uh, uh, get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. That's what we're doing today. We're speaking with his words. Read. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech, and of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. So we are sent to the house of Israel, read. Not to many people of a strange speech and of an hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. Come on. Surely I had I sent thee to them. They would have hearkened unto thee. He said, if I just sent you to the other nations, they will listen. He said, if I sent you to the other nations, they will listen. They will hearken unto you. Because they knew we had a great God. They understand that. Them people knew. It was like, man, these people got a great God over there. You know what I'm saying? But let me give you an example. These are the nations. These are the nations. Even though their gods are not real, they follow it. You got people blowing themselves up for the name of Allah. Mm -hmm. And here it is. We tell our people, you're the greatest thing on the earth. Christ, uh, Christ did die for you. What about the women? <laughs> God, God died for you. And they're like, oh, no, nah, that can't be true. Nah. What man do we agree to? Nah, what about the white Shit man? The, hell, nah. the statistic on black on white crime shows that we think the white man is God. Because that's why we, they're the least people that we victimize. As far as race of people. We victimize Chinese people more than we victimize the white man. <laughs> All right. Read on. Verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. But the what? The house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. The house of Israel will not listen to God. He, he, wait, hold on. He said he won't, listen to, he won't listen to you. Read on. For they will not hearken unto me. They won't hearken unto me. Read. For all the house of Israel are imputed and hard, uh, head hearted. Stupid. Hard, yeah, hard hearted. What you said earlier? How long are you going to be stupid? Give me one more verse before we go. Revelation 21 and 8. Back up with the officer saying. Because we're going to the last book, Revelation. They're like, oh, that's the Old Testament. Okay. Let's read Revelation 8. 21 and 8? Yeah. Because a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, our brothers and sisters think it's, uh, you got to be a man to kill your brother. If you're not, you're weak. You scared to look weak or something or whatever they got that concept of. But watch what the Bible said. He step on it. I, I, I keep using it because it's so petty. He step on your toe. Oh, uh, I got to get him now. I got to get him. You going to let him step on your toe like that, bro? Right. I'll play, it, right. I'll play that. That's how people think. Stepped on mine. This is Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. But the fearful. But the fearful. You scared. You scared to keep God commandments, because how you gonna look? You know, I'm gonna look like a fool. You fearful. It says, but the fearful, the meaning, hold on, jump to uh jump to verse seven. Watch. He that overcometh shall inherit he all things. He that overcometh sin. He that overcometh, he that overcomes sin should do what? Inherit all things. The kingdom. He shall inherit all things. Read. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Come on. But the fearful and unbelieving. But the fearful and unbelieving. It ain't gonna stop. Y'all tripping. 
The fearful and unbelief and those who don't believe, read. And the abominable. And the bamboo who, woman to woman, man to man, who eating all kind of shrimp, lobster, pork booty, read. And murderers. And murderers, murderers, and murderers, read. And whoremongers. And whoremongers, woman to woman to woman, you want to jump in, woman to woman to woman, read. And sorcerers. And sorcerers, read. Crack dealers. Come on. And idolaters. And idolaters. Come on, who's worshiping uh, Lil Wayne, all these artists. Read. And all liars. And all liars. Read. Shall have their part in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. That's it. You're going to die. Smoke bomb. Well, that concludes. That concludes another Casting Down Imaginations. I uh, hope this was edifying, very edifying. Hopefully this, this kind of gauges where we're at. We got a lot of work to do. That's basically what we're saying with this, with this uh, Casting Down Imaginations. Black on black crime, stop it. We must know where the problem is in order to correct it. So brothers and sisters, I hope this edifies Shalom. Most high Christ bless. And, and <clears throat> what we're showing you is that the issue starts with you. Just the same way we went into slavery, it started with us. So we got to fix it. So let's fix it together. All right? Uh, like, oh, like Officer said, hope the class is edifying. I'm Officer Arye. And Officer, to my left. Officer Yawasa. And to my right. Officer Abiyah. And the DJ, man. Announce yourself, man. So everybody can know who you are. Come on, DJ. Officer DJ Amakai, Officer Amakai on the one twos. <laughs> Officer Amakai. And with that, we, we say shalom. shalom. Break us out, DJ. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Shalom Periscope. Hope the uh, class was edifying to y'all. Hey, remember. Shalom. We got to come together, all right? These black on black cars got to stop. Shalom, shalom. Most high Christ bless. Hope you have a great day. One more day closer to the Sabbath, y'all. Shalom.